Hello traders, my name is Thomas, I'm private trader and I am part of testing team for Market Profit Pack. In this video I want to describe Div Delta visualization in more detail. We will start with enlarging the Div Delta visualization across the whole screen. What you see on the screen is the Euro Futures contract, symbol 6E, currently traded contract is September and this is a simple three minute chart and the important thing that I want to show and focus on in this video is the Div Delta visualization which shows us all different information based on volume and number of traded contracts. This is the default setting but you can change it, you don't need to display all the lines in the visualization you can also change the lines for bars so it's very universal and you can modify it to your needs and visual comfort the blue line is the total volume traded in one candlestick at 16.00 we had a news release and you see the huge spike in the total volume more than 9000 contracts traded on this 3 minute candlestick very high volume and we have other lines here Let's focus on this news release candlestick. The red dotted line shows us volume traded at the bid side of the market. So either aggressive sellers or buyers waiting with the limit orders. So you see the majority of the total volume was made by either aggressive sellers or buyers waiting with the limit orders in the market. Then we have the green dash line and that one represents the volume traded at the ask side of the market and you see that was rather low compared to the bid side of the market and the difference between these two lines is plotted as a bar over here this is the zero line because the bar is red and is in the negative territory we know that there was a higher number of contracts traded on the bid than there was on the ask. So this bar represents the delta difference between bid and ask side and you see that the delta was negative somewhere in the territory of negative 4000 contracts in this particular candle. In the last line we have here the dash dot line the cumulative delta. What this line does it takes the individual deltas and adds them all together. So you can very simply see the development throughout the day and you see that we were in the positive territory for most of the day but with this news release at 4 o'clock we suddenly fell into a negative territory as I said before you can add or modify these lines that are displayed so I will simply right click and choose indicators here I have div delta and if I go to number 3 display I can choose what color the delta bars will have so I use the default setting green and red but here I can choose if I want to show the other lines in the visualization so maybe I'm not interested in the bid volume and ask volume and I only want to see the cumulative delta and the total volume click OK and suddenly you see it is more comfortable visually you can see the deltas, you can see the total volume and the cumulative delta. Maybe I don't even need the total volume. So I will select show total volume to false. And suddenly I only have the information about deltas in individual bars and the cumulative delta for the whole day. This is what I use in my trading. And I am interested in the individual deltas. And if they get over 600, I have an alarm set. I will show you how to set that alarm. Right click indicators and here we have alerts. Here you can enter two values of delta and it's absolute number so it does not matter if the delta is negative or positive. Every time delta exceeds value of 600 an alarm will go off from my speakers. Over here I can choose the sound file that will be played for the alarm. This is very good because you understand 
that volume is the key in trading. And if delta on individual candle exceeds certain value, it is a big clue that a big player has stepped into the market and is trying to push the market in one direction, in the direction of the delta. So that gives you a clue. And if the market is fast or maybe you follow several markets, it's good when the alarm or the alert goes off and brings your attention to the particular market where delta exceeds certain value. So this is one way how I use div delta indicator. I follow the individual deltas and if they exceed 600 or 1000 I am very interested and I focus on the market and the price action. Let's be specific for today. You see that on this candle we had a very high positive delta and now I can judge who was doing the positive delta. Was it new buyers? Well we are at the top of the last swing. I don't think big players in the market were involved buying new highs. So if I see such a high number and large bar my suspicion is that the big players are actually liquidating their longs because we have reached this previous high. And the delta and number of traded contracts that the ask side of the market can give me additional information and clue. And the same over here with this very extreme value after the news announcement. You see it's very negative after the news announcement so my suspicion is that the majority of this negative delta was really done by aggressive sellers. Maybe some buyers were waiting with limit orders at these lows in this support area. But I think most of this volume was from aggressive sellers. So my expectation would be that after this balance the move to the downside will continue and the market will want to probe a little bit lower. The second way how I use div delta visualization is following the cumulative delta. And I look for divergences. Divergences between price and cumulative delta. It's one of the best divergences you can get in the market, in my opinion. Because it's not a divergence of an indicator, but of a real order flow into the market. Here in this particular situation, look at this. Typically, a lot of people know the double bottom formation. Over here, we had a news announcement. We made a new low after the announcement. And now we have a second test of this low. A lot of people might be tempted to jump in for the long trade expecting a double bottom. But if they follow the cumulative delta, look at this, look at this divergence between the order flow into the market and the price. It's very bearish. So from this point of view, in my opinion, it's very risky to jump on board and try a long trade over here. Especially when I know that there was a lot of selling on this bar. So divergences and deltas in the individual candles exceeding 600 and 1000 is how I use this indicator. It's very visual with the acoustic alerts. It's very convenient to use. This is all for the div delta visualization. If you want to try it out, we will be happy to give you a free trial. In order to get the trial, just go to our website market-profit-peg.com click test trial over here. We will also provide you with a complete user manual which covers and explains all functions of every visualization. We are also ready to answer any questions or handle any suggestions you might have so do not hesitate to contact us at marketprofitpeg at gmail.com Thank you for your attention and have good trades.